Hi guys! Welcome to my hair video, the long awaited video that you guys have been waiting for. And I'm here to talk about it. I'm here to ask your questions and give you guys a lowdown on what I do with my hair. Today is the solar eclipse. I feel the energy off, but now that I turn on my camera, I am totally fine. We're going to start this video off strong. I'm so excited to answer all of my questions about my hair. A little backstory I went through kind of a journey of finding someone that was right for me regarding my hair because as a black girl you have to really care about your hair health my natural hair is like curly kind of like kinky kind of ish texture and I started relaxing slash doing keratin to my hair when I was I believe in like middle school I think I like started and my sisters and I always started kind of a little bit younger she with keratin just to kind of straighten it and to kind of help with maintenance so so I kept on doing that since I've been that young. I have not stopped and my hair was like here and then I like chopped it. College, I believe, is when I chopped it. Even during quarantine, I chopped it even more. Very short, like under my chin and I thought that like bob look was cool and I loved it, but then I got bored. I get very bored with my hair. So I started off with getting tape and extensions right before I moved to LA. That was honestly the best thing I've ever done. It was just such a cool different look look for me and I've never really had that type of look and style before so I was so excited and I just kept on doing it but what I learned throughout the way is that hair health is so important I think at the time I was like so intrigued with like tape-ins and everything and you know when you're younger you just like you learn you learn stuff like that's just part of life like you learn your lessons and you figure everything out and you navigate it did that found a really amazing hair girl in LA still love her to this day and then when I moved to New York I was still doing tape-ins and I really wanted tape-ins to be where when it dried it was like kind of curly you know and had that kind of similar texture and wave but when I moved to New York that's when I kind of had like a OMG SOS experience I had um, someone do my hair for me and it was so so expensive and so pricey and to this day I do think that I low-key got scammed because my own hair just broke off so much it was so short it was just like not the right ideal situation <laughs> and I was like SOS what do I do little pro tip Definitely do your research and definitely ask people for the recommendations I didn't really ask people when I got here But definitely finding the right person comes with asking questions and asking people who would you recommend another pro tip? Listen to the people that have not even the similar hair as you but are used to the background that you dealt with as well you Have to ask questions based off of I'm a black girl. I have this textured hair. I have chemical chemically treated hair like you have to ask those questions and if you don't ask the right person that understands like kind of ethnic hair then it's just a waste so that's my little two cents my little pro tip and obviously whatever I'm saying today can apply to anyone because at the end of the day like you don't have to have treated hair to like listen to what I'm saying or to be curious about it because at the end of the day I will be talking about extensions and I will be talking about what I do for my extensions because and anyone can have extensions, you know? So after that woman in that whole situation, I was like traumatized, I was like SOS. And then I asked my friend Samira, you guys probably do know her, she's on social media, I love her to death. I asked her and her hair would always look so good and so laid. And I'm like, Samira, I need help, like I need to find a new hair girl and that does extensions because she would get tape in. She's like, you have to go to Slay NYC. I'm like, no way. She's like, she's in Brooklyn, but you have to go there. I did my first set with her, I think at the middle or end of last summer. She is by far the best. I've talked about her a lot on my vlogs So that's when you know because I feel like whenever I say stuff I like to be very honest and even like products I recommend or just like anything I like to be very honest with my recommendations because I do know how it feels like to be on the receiving end Where you think something will be good, but it's just like totally not and it's like kind of a false narrative So trust me guys. She is so good. Her name's Najaye. Najaye? I hope that's how I pronounce it I'm so sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right 
N-A-J-A-Y-E. And she's my girl. I've gone so close with her and thank you, Samira, if you're watching this because if she didn't recommend me to her, I don't know where I would be at all with my hair and she really did save my hair. And she even says the same thing. She's like, taking care of your hair and the health of your hair is the most important thing. She's like, I will not even put the extensions on you or whatever if you are not improving with your hair health, which I really do appreciate because it's not even like she wants to do it for the money. It's like, she really does care about every single client. I cannot rave enough about her. She does micro lengths, tape-ins. She now treats my hair before putting in the tape-ins. I'm getting ready for my hair appointment. It was supposed to be at 9 a.m., but we moved it to 10.30. I really want to bring him with me. Wow, this is so soft. Like, are you kidding? I'm relaxing my hair now. Washing it out. Now for the best part, Najai has this steam machine. She steams the hair with the mask in it. So different and cool. I feel like not a lot of people have this. <laughs> we just washed my hair and took the relaxer out and now I'm gonna blow dry and get the hair ready for the extensions. So we're done. I'm gonna show you guys at the end, but we're just going to do some face frames and curl it with a big wand. It's so good and it's so soft. Vietnamese hair. Vietnamese? Vietnamese hair. So pretty. Wow, I love it. I just can't believe that I found such an amazing person to do my hair. Make sure you guys don't book her out if you're in the New York area, please. <laughs> I still want to get my hair done, but she truly is so amazing and I can't stop raving about her. She's so great. This last specific hair set that I did, I want to talk a little bit more about before we go into the questions. This hair, this is specifically by her. Love you, queen. This hair is double drawn Vietnamese hair, which double drawn means that it's full from root to the end. One bundle of double drawn hair is equivalent to 1.5 bundles. Basically, the hair that she put in has more volume and hair to it with less pieces. So I don't know if you can see kind of fully, but it truly is so full. You can't really see my natural hair at all, and it feels so light on the head. This is a natural wave texture. I think I washed my hair on like Friday or Thursday night. Today's Monday. I wash it and then I air dry it. It was like super late when I washed my hair, so I was like, okay, I'm going to bed. Woke up, very, very beautiful curls. This hair does not tangle at all. I brushed through it and I went in with a quick little Dyson like brush, air, like air wrap brush and brushed it out. And then I straightened it with the T3 straightener. And then I went in with the biggest barrel from T3. I am currently just like experimenting with my hair. And I just loved how my hairstylist did it when I got my hair done. She said basically that she used like a really big barrel like this. So we'll see, but so far it's looking really good, not gonna lie. The hair products I use, I think make a big difference. I'll show you what I use, but I use this IGK spray. Um, and it's basically like a keratin like smoothing spray and it's also primer for your hair. I actually really like it. I feel like my hair is like super, super smooth. Not frizzy or anything. So basically it dried very curly, like kind of wavy, but I wanted to figure out some other options. I think a big barrel like this also helps. This is from T3, but you see how like the curls are like so nice, like it's so smooth. I used this day styling cream. I think that also helped a lot. And this how it looks. It's very like kind of messy tossed. We're gonna go in with a little bit of shine spray to give it some shine. Give it a tiny bit of shine and it also helps with frizz. I'm gonna go in with this Living Proof, this is my favorite hair oil, Frizz Vanishing Oil. I have other oils for like hydration, but this one is like really good once you've done a style. It just tames all the frizz. So you see how like it kind of just like tamed everything? It's super hydrating too. That's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little segment. It truly is so amazing and I feel like it just lasts so well. I don't feel like there's any slippage already. I got this done about like a week and a half, two weeks ago. It's truly such amazing hair and I am truly obsessed with it. I will from now on be using the Vietnamese hair. I don't think I'll go back to anything else and it's very, very high quality. You can't really get it that many places, which is why I love it so much. So her hair is very, very unique and very um, specific. And she can also look at your hair and figure out what texture is right for you and best for you, which I love because the experience is very one-to-one 
and she truly just wants to make sure that you look your best and look your most beautiful self. That's a little bit of background on my hair. I'm going to answer some questions right now. First question is, is your hair relaxed or a keratin? Right now my hair is relaxed. I do like kind of an on and off method of keratin relaxed treatment, but right now it's relaxed and she does it for me before I put my tape-ins back in. And then she also does a really amazing mask and lets my hair steam, which first of all, I've never seen like a steam little situation at any hair salon so if you go definitely it'll feel so relaxing she has a bunch of treats she has a bunch of snacks she has water everything that you need I literally keep telling her I'm like please can you have a studio in Manhattan and her studios in Brooklyn but I don't even care to go to Brooklyn for her I'm like whatever it is what it is <laughs> I love her so much second question how do you deal with humidity it definitely depends on the type of hair that you have I think when my hair is really grown out and towards the end where I need to retape it. I feel like my hair gets a little like frizzy. It doesn't really lay flat as well. It's kind of harder to maintain. And so this is a very like case by case scenario. But in my case, obviously, since I like treat my hair, I try to always use prep products for my hair. I showed you guys in the portion that I did when I showed you guys a little bit of like me curling my hair. I've been really loving recently the IGK products for anti-humidity, anti-frizz. And then I also really love Color Wow for humidity. I think it's so so good I always spray it after I wash my hair and it just dries like really really nicely and it doesn't get frizzy at all and I really love the living proof anti-frizz oil I think it's really really good oil another product that I do love is the Amica shine spray and I feel like it's also anti-frizz as well but like I said it depends on the type of hair that you get I think the last hair I had was a little bit more frizzy and it got more tangled but that was a different type of texture so it really just depends but this one again is natural wavy and this is not how it dries at all. I just did it for you guys, but it dries curly-ish. Do you swim with your hair out? I usually put in like a braid and I swim with it. Granted, I haven't been on a vacation in so long, AKA so excited for Thailand, but I usually do leave-in conditioner before and after when I swim, just to like keep it hydrated. How often do you have to wash it? I wash my hair once or twice a week. I would say like twice because I feel like my hair gets pretty oily and I wanna make sure it just doesn't slip. Also, I'm not a professional. I'm not like a hair stylist but I've just talked to my hairstylist a lot and asked her a bunch of questions so we're kind of like collabing in these answers together because I definitely asked her while I went two weeks ago and we kind of debriefed on what would be like a professional answer but I also am giving you guys my own opinion because this is just kind of what I do but I wash it once or twice a week and I use a clarifying shampoo one of the washes I use Olaplex if you guys have any other suggestions on a clarifying shampoo but basically a clarifying shampoo really just gets the oil out and cleanses the hair which is what the tape-ins need ultimately so the bondage is strong and it doesn't slip on your hair how often do you get tape-ins a month and a half to two months I always try to retape it because there was one time I let it go for too long and it was just like a pain to get out it was a hassle that's when your hair also breaks so make sure to do it like a month and a half to two months is my personal opinion and what I do how do you prevent breakage at the front of your hairline with extensions I use a silk scarf to go to sleep. I'll show you guys actually. This one's actually from Slay NYC. I think it's so cute. I love the orange. I use it every night when I go to sleep and I put it on top like this, like a little do-rag sitch. I twist it and then I wrap my hair in a bun and it kind of also dries, or not dries. I wake up and it kind of like forms these types of curls as well, but I feel like that really helps with my hairline and it just protects it so there's no friction to my hairline. And I also use a silk pillowcase. This one's from from Brooklyn and but any silk pillowcase you can get them on Amazon it doesn't have to be crazy expensive so number one silk scarf number two silk pillowcase that is how I protect my hairline do you relax your hair yes I do your hair is beautiful thank you so much I love you guys so much how often do you straighten your leave out I'm gonna be honest most of the times I just air dry my hair and I don't treat it with heat I think that's why my hair grows a lot is because I don't really care about the leave out once it gets closer to my 
retape where my hair has grown out a lot. Every single time I wash it, I'll just like straighten kind of the back, like front pieces, like up here, and it's good. I'm not too like particular with my hair. I think especially when it's like the early stages of when I first get it taped, I like to do it because it's so easy to maintain, but I definitely straighten out my leave out when I do my hair and when I'm not air drying it. How do you maintain your hair straight in the summer? Like I said, those products really help, the anti-frizz products, and then I just try to air dry it, honestly, because it air dries so nice and pretty and curly. It has a really nice natural wave to it, so I don't like to do too much heat if I don't have to. I think that's what helps me a lot. What do you do to not have frizzy hair? Those products, I think, really help, and then I also like to use a scalp treatment, and I like to protect my hair with, like, a cream. There's this day cream that I really like, and I use that at night as well to, like, hydrate the ends, and I think hydrating your hair leads to an anti-frizz style. So I try to just treat it at night and then when I wake up, either I do like a gloss spray or to prevent the frizz by using creams and like oils. Just hydration I think helps. Do you straighten your hair every day? Not at all. I try to air dry it like I said. If not, I like the Dyson Air Straight a lot actually. It's one of my favorite tools and the T3 products are also another one of my favorite tools. They're amazing. What products do you recommend or use? So I think I'm going to make um, actually an LTK kind of like link or like folder so it can help you guys see all the products that I use and I'll include everything that I use on my hair in there but there's a whole list of products so definitely check it out at the end of this. I think the biggest things are the IJK products, the Living Proof products and Bakai I also really love. I feel like that's a really hydrating brand and yeah I'll definitely include everything down below but I think that this will be the end of this portion of the video. If you guys have any other further questions let me know i feel like i covered everything also too if you go to slay nyc make sure to tell her that i recommended you and she's going to give you a free gift so definitely check her out i cannot say enough words about her i feel like she is just the sweetest human being she just gets it she's also in the same boat so she understands kind of the history of how our hair can just be very up and down or just maintaining it hydrating it treating it and all of the above so she's very very skillful and she is such a smart woman and i love her to death so again if you go say that i recommended you let me know if you do plan on reaching out or trying her i am here if you guys have any further questions about my hair uptown diaries is coming next week we have a lot of good stuff coming because i'm going to thailand soon i also have to start packing so keep your eye out for a packing vid because we have a lot to do for this trip and i have not started so i'm going to get started today but i love you guys so much and i hope you guys really like this video i hope it was helpful and that you guys learned a few things i hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys very soon bye